the one time you go and say nice things about something has to make you look bad. Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. We've got to start thinking about our gardens. Full disclosure, we are horrible, horrible with the garden. Huh. But one of the things that we have discovered that we enjoy doing is using our raised garden beds. These are approximately six foot by four foot beds and they seem to work really well. It was a, it was a good size for us. So we're gonna to try to duplicate that with these cedar logs that we pulled out of the woods just yesterday. So one of the reasons I chose to make the raised beds out of cedar is because of their hardiness in, uh, in ground contact and their resistance to rot, as well as their uh, resistance to, uh, to bugs. Bugs don't seem to like them very much. So I got one of the uh, smaller logs that we'll go ahead and cut up. Might as well make it easy on ourselves. We've just got it wedged up in between two wedges on these blocks here, just to keep it up out of the dirt. And then we've got this two by four that'll sit right on top. We'll just nail this down. Now last time I used a one by four and it seemed to be a little bit wobbly. The, uh, the board would warp a little bit. So I'm hoping that the two by four will keep it a little bit more straight. And then this chainsaw guide, what it does just rides along the two by four and allows the uh, chainsaw to make a 90 degree vertical cut. Now the nice thing that I like about this setup is that unlike with traditional Alaskan chainsaw mills, this board does not have to be completely flush and square. It can have bows in it. As long as it doesn't have any warps in it, it's gonna cut a nice straight 90 degree line along the edge of the board. And that's gonna give us a reference point to flip it over on the side and cut the third cut. This is an 056 AV. It's probably like 50 years old. It was actually my grandfather's and uh, it still runs great. I've adapted this chainsaw guide. I wasn't really happy with the quality that it was built with. Uh, the part where it actually attaches to the bar ended up breaking after the first couple uses uh, just because it couldn't hold it tight enough. It ended up spreading apart. Uh, so I ended up cutting that off and then bolting it straight to the bar itself. And that seems to have held up a whole lot better. Well, that guy seemed to roll a little bit on me there towards the end, but right here is nice and flat. Um, we'll be able to we'll be able to work with that. So. <sighs> you go and say nice things about something it has to make you look bad.
God, if those beds were only six foot by four foot, turns out they're eight foot by four foot. And I cut this one, I thought it was a little bit long. So it was like seven and a half feet. But no, it's a little short. So I'll just freehand this. See if I can keep it at least somewhat straight. So that's one log cut up into a usable board. We'll have to do five more of those for one bed and then cut some four foot sections for the ends. Then we'll be in good shape. So something is wrong with the big saw. Every time I cut it off, it seems like it's losing its fuel in the line or something like that and then taking forever to get started back up. So I'll have to dig into that, figure out what's going on with it. Uh, but the small one's running, so I might swap out the, uh, the little jig, stick it on the small one. That's what I used originally. For all those, it just took a little bit longer. Uh, but yeah, that's how we do it. Well, that's about all the time that I've got for you today, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And if you wanna see more of what we got going on here on the homestead, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Oh yes, stinking saw. Start for me. Typical.